Hello and welcome to Richard Darby Podcast, In My Opinion, Episode 2. Hope you're well. Don't forget then, join the week, follow me on Richard Darby Internet Radio. I am now on TuneIn. So this podcast is on TuneIn, YouTube, Podbeam, and I think that's about it. I think we're on Amazon Prime, Amazon Music, but I'm not sure. Anyway... What have you been up to this week? Yesterday, I decided to thought, you know what, I'm going to go to Merry Hill. I hate Merry Hill shopping centre, I really do. I went to have one of those new McDonald's uh, triple burgers. Opinion? Don't like them. Prefer double cheeseburger myself. It's more taste to the double cheeseburger. What am I talking about today? Today I'm going to talk about what I've done this week and also main topic is top British TV shows and I'll talk about top American shows as well but top sitcoms, British programmes from England and America This is a Richard Darby podcast You're listening to Richard Darby himself Find me on Twitter at I am Richard Darby. And also, finally found out my blood test results. You can check on social media what I've got, but uh, I've had quite a bad start to the day this week, here on Friday. But at least the bin men, I've put the bins in the right place for now two weeks in a row. And also to let you know that in the, every Thursday from now till whatever... I will be at Purity, which is a new club in Wolverhampton, in the West Midlands. Rock night every Thursday from next week, from Thursday, and that means I'll be there for my 40th birthday on the 24th. Now, I haven't got any smart clothes yet, because I chucked them out when I left. So, I have found a decent new jumper that I haven't worn in a while that are washed, so that'll have to do. But every Thursday... Purity. If you want to check it out, www.purity.sweet or site.com. So either sweet or site. So try that one out for us. I've actually finally learned how to record shows and podcasts while still broadcasting. On my radio station, so I've just looked on now and I've got a show, an old show from, what day is it? From June, from June, yep, 15th of June, so, and I'm doing this show right now. You are listening to the Richard Darby podcast, in my opinion. Let's start, shall we? There you go. Right then, let's start, shall we? Let's talk British comedy sitcoms. Right. I'm going to go through a list according to Wikipedia, because Wikipedia is the most trusted site ever, isn't it? Well, here we go then. Some of the... I want you to get your best uh, comedies out of the list, and we're going to do a top ten. So next week... I will do a top 10 list results of your favourite British pro- sitcoms and American sitcoms. Right, so, obviously everybody's favourite British sitcom is going to be Only Fools and Horses. Other titles to consider are Dad's Army, Forty Towers, Young Ones, Porridge, Blackadder, Absolutely Fabulous, Peep Show, Royal Family, Office, Father Ted, Gavin and Stacey, Vicar and Dibley, in between us, hello, hello. Are you being served? To the ladies, good life, which a lot of people don't like. I'm Alan Partridge, Red Dwarf, Thick of It, IT Crowd, Yes Minister, Spaced, Men Behaving Badly, Open All Hours, Bottom, 
Rising Damp, Black Books, My Family, Detectorists, which I've never seen, but it's on Netflix, On the Buses, Thin Blue Line, Coupling, Outnumbered, Mrs. Brown's Boys. I honestly do not see why people find that funny. Birds of a Feather, Heidi High, Catastrophe, never heard of it. Friday Night Dinner and Not Going Out and The Unfunny Miranda. Right, let's do a top ten of these, shall we? Right. In no particular order. <coughs> In no particular order. Sorry about that, just had to cough. <coughs> I will go with... Father Ted will be in there, definitely. What else would be in there? Only Fools and Horses, obviously. My Family would be in there for me. Heidi High, Red Dwarf, I'm Alan Partridge. Bottom, yes. What else will be in there? I don't know. Heidi High will be in there for me. And I'll just say, not going out. Right, so, let's do US Top 10 Sitcoms. Let's see what a list is for that one. And then let me te- let me know what your favourite British and American sitcom is. And I will do a list of results in the next podcast, which will be next Friday. Here we go then. The American sitcoms you have got. Friends, Seinfeld, Simpsons, The Office... Parks and Recreation, Modern Family, Arrested Development, 30 Rock, Cheers, Family Guy, Big Band Theory, Frasier, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Curb Your Enthusiasm, Fresh Prince, That 70s Show, Will and Grace, MASH, How I Met Your Mother, Community, Two and a Half Men, Dick Van Dyke Show, Golden Girls, Scrubs, and South Park. So me, my no particular order I would have Scrubs in there Cheers Frasier Fresh Prince Family Guy but early Family Guy because modern day Family Guy sucks Friends uh, who else That 70s Show and I'll go for I'll say South Park as well oh yeah and Home Improvement as well Let us know what you'd have in your top 10 US sitcoms. And don't forget, in the comments section, leave us your top 10 British sitcoms as well. You're listening to Richard Darby Podcast, In My Opinion. Episode 2, Talking TV. I am currently re-watching episodes of Hustle. The Con Artist Programme from BBC One on BBC iPlayer. I tell you what, they should bring it back. I always remember Adrian Lester. I've never met the guy, never met the actor. But he's always, when Hustle was on, he always used to reply to my tweets. Would that work if they brought an entirely new cast into Hustle? Keep Eddie. Obviously Albert Stroll has died. He's passed on. Let us know what shows you would bring back as well. Talk of Will Smith bringing back Fresh Prince of Bel-Air for a one-off anniversary for its 30th year or 35th year next year on telly for a one-hour episode. Yeah, and how could I forget the TV show Alf? Alf was the alien called Gordon Shumway, who the Tanners named Alf after alien life form. I'm trying to get hold of DVDs for that, but at the minute, due to the pandemic going on, they're either not in stock or they're not available. Alf was awesome. Do you know what else I would put on that US sitcom list? The Muppet Show.
Does anyone else have trouble with a uh, two-step verification codes for your bank? Because mine is a nightmare. I've had to ring up my bank three times today to sort it all out, and it's still a pain in the ass. What it is, is I try to keep. Because nowadays you have to use passwords, which is numbers, letters, capital letters, and symbols. And it's basically when I do it on my phone, I can access it. But when I do it on line on the laptop, I think I'm pressing the shift wrong button for the symbols. And it's really annoying. It's taken me three phone calls today to sort it all out. I mean, it's good in a way that they're protecting your account, but it's a bloody nightmare. So don't forget, we are on YouTube, we are on Podbeam, and we are also on Richard Darby Internet Radio. Also, I do sell music and make music online. Give us this, listen, you never know, you might actually like it. Follow Richard Darby on Twitter. I am Richard Darby. Here's a word from our sponsor. Still trying to get a bit more confident talking and talking for long periods of time. Just the only trouble is between other podcasts and myself, there is a difference. There's other people on the podcast. I will start uh, interviewing people when the podcast becomes more well known. So talking at two-step verification codes, and why why I'm having a hassle with it as well is they always seem. I've got a password to get into my bank account, which is obvious, and then I've got a memorable question, like mother's maiden name, where I used to live, or childhood friend, or whatever it is, and uh, basically, I do that, and then I have to wait for the two-step verification code, which hardly ever comes, ever. It's annoying, it really is. Looking forward to next week, I will be paying for gas and electric again. Not telling you who I'm going with, because last time I did that for internet, they cut me off. Because somebody phoned and said, oh, I don't want it anymore. Cheers then. But you are listening to the Richard Darby Internet Podcast, in my opinion. It's going to be a very, very short one today. I want to see how it sounds. See how many people do download it. Listen to it and stream it throughout the week. And I might do more than one on the Friday. I might do one daily. I don't know. I won't be doing one on Thursdays though. Because uh, I need my energy for the evening. So that was next week. Purity in Wolverhampton. A rock night. I think from 8, 9 o'clock. I've got to be there an hour before. so. But, uh, I'll be there every Thursday. And in three weeks time. 24th of September. It is my 40th birthday. I'm buying an N64. I love N64. My childhood gaming product. N64. You had WCW games. You had the WWMs. And I forgot that this was a console. That Super Mario Party. That Mario Kart. Mario Party was on it. Mario Party was brilliant when you were drunk. And when we were 18, I remember me and my friends, my ex-friends now, obviously, we used to get drunk, and the best game that we used to mess up on Mario Party was, I don't know if you guys remember Mario Party, but there was one game with four players. We were in a sea, we were on top of barrels. We had a white flag and a red flag, or a white flag or a black flag. And if you guess that the flag correct colour of the flag correctly on the screen, then you would you would survive. If you didn't, you get cut adrift and you would drown. It was brilliant, Mario Party. Mario Kart was also good as well.
Anyway, so coming up next week then, in my opinion, round th- three, top ten UK sitcoms and top ten US sitcoms according to you, your votes. Next week I'll have the top ten list. I'll chat some more. Let's see what's happened in the news today, shall we? From around the world. On my iPhone. Strictly Come Dancing have announced all their contestants. I will do that on my radio show for you later on today. A week till the football season starts again. And that is it. I will speak to you guys next week here on the podcast. Top 10 of everything. And I will speak to you guys very, very soon. Good night. Good luck.